What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Back out here on the water today and you can see it is an absolutely beautiful morning. We have the fog rolling in over the water. The sun's coming up. Just absolutely beautiful. Literally picture perfect looking over these cypress trees back over my shoulder. And I really think that we're going to have a good morning of fishing. I'm hoping to catch them on top water. You know, now we're in the fall. The bait fish are pushing back into pockets. This lake has a lot of shad in it and has a lot of big bass as well. So I'm really, really hoping to be able to put a popper to work this morning. And the wind isn't supposed to blow today, but still we might be able to catch them on the spinner bait, but I'm really, really gonna try to make that popper work and maybe throw a walking bait out off the points a little bit. But man, this fall fishing can be tough, but sometimes it can be absolutely awesome if you catch it on the right day. And for some reason, I'm feeling like today is one of those days where we're gonna absolutely smash them. So let's go ahead, let's start at our first spot. We're gonna go down the lake a little bit. We're gonna start at our first spot. We're gonna throw the popper. Let's see if we can catch a bag today. All right, y'all. I tell you what, it don't get much prettier than that. I mean, it's almost blinding where the, the sun is reflecting off the water, but it is so dead slick calm out here. Pretty daggone cool morning. Pretty cool morning. Let's see. Not 100% sure what our water temps are. Let me look real quick. 71.7. 71.7. So that's very good water temps. I got a feeling this sun is going to burn this fog off fairly quick. So definitely want to take advantage of this low light we got I mean it's just slick slick calm perfect conditions for a popper you ever get on a lake especially in the fall where you have like no wind and it's just dead slick calm a popper is hard to beat it's so subtle it just has that nice little plop to it they just, they absolutely love it when it's really slick calm. They'll get up there right at the edge of these pads. They won't quite be in them yet because it's still early morning. They'll be out roaming, you know, roaming around the edges of the pads, the edges of the vegetation up on the flats, over the grass. Which, speaking of grass, this lake has a lot of hydrilla in it loaded with it but they'll be up there feeding and man a popper is just hard to beat That's a nice one out here on this point. How was that for a bite? Golly. That was amazing. He's got the very back hook. Get in here. That's a chunk. Man, that was a bite. That was an awesome bite. Y'all check that dude out. Up here in the fog. Off the end of this point, come up on that popper. I mean, it don't get much better than that. Y'all check that out. Got that beautiful foggy morning. Man, if that ain't pretty. Thank you, bud. Well, fish number one off the end of this point, kind of like I thought it would be. And that was amazing. That was pretty awesome that point comes out it comes out so far it's almost deceiving there's another one off this point it's almost deceiving this point that's a little one but it it doesn't look like it goes out that far and it goes out very far 
pretty little dude there. Get in here. Oh wow, the bike could just really be insane today. How cool is that? There we go. Back to back, baby. Nice. There, there's probably just an insane amount of fish out there right now feeding up. really good way to start the morning out here off the end of this point nice quality fish to start off with second one wasn't a bad one either but really really cool out here throwing off this point point. and the thing about this lake is it's not very deep this is a uh, six foot average i would say lake somewhere in there not not uh very deep at all so these fish will be out here on the main lake channel and they'll kind of work up and down on these points pull up on them to feed throughout the day in the morning like we got now which the sun's starting to come up actually a little bit getting up in the sky it was just really really foggy this morning but just a really really cool bite out there on top water on these points and like i said when it's slick calm like this there's just nothing better than a popper oh my goodness that is a big one. Oh no that was a big one that whole fish came out of the water i don't even think i stuck it like how did that happen that was a freaking four pounder that was a four pounder if I ain't never seen one. Oh my goodness. I don't think he's gonna bite again. I don't even think I stuck that fish. Like, how did that happen? Not 100% sure how that happened. God, that was a big one. Well, I tell you what, it didn't take long for that sun to bust through that fog because she is out with a vengeance now. That was very short lived. Dang on it. I know there's some more big fish on that point. I mean, there was just, I got too many bites and got that big one to come up right back there on that point. I know it's gotta be some more fish on it, willing to come up on this popper. But I don't know, we got, you know, we got this sun blare now that will keep them from coming up as good. Kind of surprised I didn't get bit on this point. There we go. Pretty nice one. Got these, just these fish out here roaming is what they're doing. He come up and ate it like he's supposed to. That's a nice one. He absolutely choked that popper. Well, he had it choked and now he's, it's kind of came out the side a little bit, but man, I saw that fish wake up behind it, like right before he bit it. Pretty cool bite. 
Here we go, another nice fish. Thank you, buddy, on that popper. I'm gonna tell y'all, as long as they'll keep coming up on this popper, kind of out here in the middle offshore, I'm gonna keep throwing it. I'm not gonna let that bite go because we had that great big one come up on it. And I know that there's a good chance that we might be able to get another big one to come up. So uh, we're gonna keep at it. We're gonna keep doing this until the bite just completely fades. And then we might move up, you know, shallower into some pads or whatever. But as long as we can get bit on the old popper, we're going to keep on throwing it. I can tell you that. He was right out here, like off the end of this point. Got this big main lake point that comes out right here. Wouldn't surprise me at all if I got smoked again. I saw that fish wake up behind it. But it's just fish out here everywhere just cutting and you know shad are coming up fish are coming up just seems like the shad are kind of offshore and they're just roaming around and the bass are just under them just hunting them down so that's how we're going to keep fishing for them right now i want to get a great big one to come up on this popper out here this is this is fun you just kind of you got this we have this pocket that goes back in the back right here and it's just fish coming up all out here in the middle and it's pretty shallow like six and a half foot here in the middle with a lot of hydrilla fish just came up right there in front of me so i mean these fish can literally be anywhere but we have this point that comes out and tails back in so i'm definitely expecting some fish to be off of that and then i mean i know we have fish it's fish in the pads and fish shallow as well but The potential to catch a really big fish is probably probably out here now if it gets cloudy and stays cloudy then whew, might turn into a smash fest but i don't really see that happening not at the moment All right, so we're kind of working our way into the back of this pocket a little bit, and we're gonna fish around in it, and then we're gonna come back out. And I got another pocket at the other end of the lake that a lot of times shad stack up in, and I definitely want to hit that. But one thing I'm noticing is I've had a couple fish come in hard on the popper and not eat it. So they've came in pretty hard like they were gonna eat it, and then they kind of just swirled on it and really didn't eat it at all so i don't know if the bite is just fading or the water is so clear because it is literally gin clear and now that we have these high skies and no wind you know anything like that it's just making them be able to get a really good look at it um because it's been a couple really nice fish have have came to it like they were going to eat it and then they just faded off of it kind of a bummer but we're gonna work our way, work our way back in here. I've seen some, oh, got a little bit of something going on here. Oh, I tell y'all, you gotta love fishing, right? I mean, now my line's right around my tip. What do we got going on here? But I've seen a few fish come up in the back of this, uh, going into the back of this pocket right here. So I wanna definitely, definitely throw around in here some i mean i want to go shallow and throw the frog but right now i'm just trying to kind of stay in the middle here where i'm seeing all this activity i'm not seeing very much activity up on the bank in the pads like i haven't seen hardly anything so trying to trying to see if i can get one more fish out here and then we're gonna Kind of head towards the bank and maybe throw the old froggy frog or something like that but we go in this other pocket we're gonna we're gonna throw the popper in there as well all right let's make a move make a move everything's been pretty solid so far put some fish in the boat but 
I don't know, that popper bike looks like it could be fading on us just a little bit. You know, I said I was gonna go all the way up, but I got to throw that popper out here just a few more times. See if I can get that big fish to come up. It's, golly, that was a big one. I mean, that was a daggum big one. We're just gonna work our way up to it. I mean, fish, when I was back on the other end, I kept looking up here and fish were constantly coming up to the top. Constantly coming up. So, I mean, it's it's a bunch of activity out here. Bunch of stuff going on. About to get out of darn big weight bait. Telling me to. There's one. Pretty decent one there. I knew it was some shad around. Finally, got another one to come up. He ain't no giant by no means. Nice fish, though. Nice fish. First one in a while. I think this cloud cover, I don't know if y'all can see, but the clouds have really kind of popped back out and covered that sun up. And I think that's definitely gonna keep this bite going or get it, you know, get it fired back up. That's what I'm hoping anyway. That fish was right here on the corner of this point right here. And it's a bunch of shad down there. I could see the shad, another shad just come up right there off to the left. Bunch of shad right here coming up. Tell you what, let's move up here to this to this other point. And I am ooh, somebody just fired a shot. I am gonna get I am gonna get this weight bait out. Throw that thing around some. Fall is a really good time for weight baits. It really is. I'm gonna jump over here to this point that leads into the pocket and uh, see if we can catch one there. All right, so I'm actually gonna stop a little bit shy of that point and I'm gonna start right here in front of me and I'm gonna throw this throw this wake bait a little bit and I kind of want to see if I get bit right here if I don't then I might just put it up but kind of want to see if I do get bit through this section because we got this fence road that comes out right here Popper back out. We might throw that around a tiny bit more, but I don't know. I'll tell you what, we are going to do. We're going to throw this swim jig real quick. Throw that bad boy and see if we can collect one on this. Just my confidence right now is really, really in that popper. Even though we're into the day a little bit, confidence is really in that popper. Just don't right here on the side of this point. Oh God, on that, that first gen. 
Is that a pike? Oh, yeah, that's a pike. This is a first gen swim jig. It's a pickerel. Oh, came off. Kind of easy. Chill out there, buddy. I don't want your teeth to cut my line. Hey, hey, hey. Chill out now. Get out of here. Right here on the side of this point, he smoked that swim jig. This is like a it's like a hybrid swim jig. It's has a small blade on it. Kind of like a spinner bait, but has a flexible wire. That fish smoked it. This might be a big bass. I can't tell, it's coming right to me. Yes, yeah, oh, it's a pike. No, dude. Get in here. Another pickerel. Dadgum it, man. I mean, you talk about smoking it. Man, that fish smoked it. It's a big one. Off this point, I'm up here throwing this worm. Don't get in that. There we go. I think I got him hooked good, but I can't swear to it. I just retied. I was up here throwing off the corner of this point. Oh yeah, that is a big one. I think we're just doggone. Uh, oh no, we ain't gonna both flip him. We could if we wanted to, but that's a big one. That is a big one. Boom, right there. On that big worm, I just, I went over this point and I said, let me turn around and throw the doggone big worm back up on it. And that is pushing four and three quarter, maybe five long fish. Beautiful. Look at a mouth on that thing. Man, all right, we're gonna get a picture of that one real quick and we're gonna let it go. He just, when he bit it, he literally ticked it. Like he just went tick. I mean, that's all he did. Yep. Right at four and three quarter. There we go. It's a darn pretty one. Thank you there, bud. I mean, just a beautiful fish. I'd like to catch a darn, Whew, there we go. I'd like to catch a darn six pounder. <laughs> but that fish was right up on the corner of that, of that point. Tore my worm up a little bit. Just, we're gonna have to break the, break the head off. I don't have a ton of these worms. Nice. All right, so we're gonna ease back up on this point where I caught that really nice one on the worm. So we're gonna throw the worm around a little bit, then we're gonna throw the spinner bait, and we're gonna go down that side with the spinner bait. We might be able to pick up another big one on the worm. We got this, the weather's definitely changed. I can see the cloud cover. Got a little bit of wind. It's probably that front starting to push through, probably, but we're gonna get up here and we're gonna see if we can get us another dog going big and I feel like we should be able to and let's see if we can make it happen throw up 
here on this point on the side of it anyway work our way up to it I want to be able to maybe pick up another one they see this big worm dragging by their head they get excited and thump it This is a doggone big one right here. I think I got him good. I'm not 100% sure. And we don't have the net out. Like the, like the dummy that we like to be. Don't get in that motor. We got bang all in here. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Why won't this... <sighs> This is a daggum giant right here. Oh, we got it. Big worms for big fish. Y'all look at that one. Well, if we can get the darn. Y'all check that dude out. Look and just slung it out when he thrashed. God, look at that one. Just going along in front of this hydrilla. And literally all I was doing, my bang, I gotta go get that, it's floating because I threw it out. But literally, all I was doing was just pitching in front of the boat in the hydrilla. And I pitched and I came up and I felt that fish tick it. And man, what a daggone stud that one is. That one's six and a half, I'm sure. That's a long fish too. Y'all check that dude out, God. What a daggone beauty. What a hammer. Let's get a picture of that one real quick. Tell you what, that's a nice one. All right, y'all, we're gonna get this girl back in the water. She's at least six and a half. I mean, that is a beautiful, beautiful fish. My can of bangs floating back there. I gotta go get that, but we're gonna end the video with this one. We're gonna end the video with that one. There's no better way to end it. And wow, big worm got us another giant. Look how clear that water is. Oh, she's biting, biting my finger. Man, thank you, girl. What an absolute beauty. What a unit of a fish. Gone, girl. Well, y'all, I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody watches my channel. And, you know, we're gonna keep grinding. I would really like to hit 20K by the end of the year. It's probably not gonna happen, but be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time on Gunfish TV.